because the Bears and the Lions are, are both looking good to do battle here in a little bit. But Senior Day obviously comes with it a whole ho host of emotions, Jake. Hey, you know, no matter what the sport, uh, football, basketball, wrestling, doesn't matter. It's always emotional if it's your last home meet. And this is a Brown uh, senior class that's looking to go out on a high note, especially after last night, picking up the nice home win over LIU. It was a matchup uh, they trailed for most of that matchup, Mike. Came back late, won a few on. And so what could be better than a weekend sweep to send out your home career here at the Pizzatola Center against a longtime rival that's kind of had your number in Columbia. The Columbia Lions are coming off of a very tough loss a night ago, 18-17 at the hands of the Harvard Crimson. At 125, there was no contest. Nick Babin getting the six points for weighing in for Columbia. The Bears uh, will get us going here at 133 with Hunter Adrian matching up against Angelo Rini of the Lions. Uh, Rini at 19 wins and 10 losses overall and 3-2 and two in Ivy competition. Hunter Adrian, an impressive 17-4 win a night ago at uh, 133 and has been having some of his best wrestling, doing some of his best wrestling of late. That's a good take there by Rini. Does not yet have control. And uh, nice job by... Uh, by Hunter Adrian got his head down and still no control says our center referee Eric Boucher but uh, Rini is in a pretty good position to get control but you know what nice job by Hunter Adrian to lock on to that left leg the uh, Columbia coaching staff calling for the two points and saying there's a takedown but still nothing going from our official as he's saying this is still neutral Adrian trying to put his head down down. Rini still looking for the takedown, and now he will get cr credit for the control and the two points. Well, Rini made the first move there, Mike. He went down towards the ankles of Adrian, able to bring him down, and Adrian's done a nice job initially of sort of making himself stiff and unable to bend, but Rini, after making that initial push down, sort of asserting his will. Second team All-Ivy League back in the 1920 season. He was all, an All-Ivy honorable mention a season ago. Strong pedigree for the Lions. Uh, trying for some back points here is, uh, Hunt, is uh, Rini coming back cross face with that left hand. Riding time ticking up to about 40 seconds with a minute left here in the first period. Again, a 2-0 lead for Rini. Adrian, a guy not used to losing. He went 215 and 6 in his high school career. That includes 168 and 1 over his last three seasons for the Melrose Red Raiders up on the North Shore. Captured three New England championships at his weight class, all state and mass, Division three state titles in all four seasons. Yeah, Melrose was my next door neighbors back in the day. And. We'll come back to neutral after the stalemate. Well, not neutral, I should say, with Rini in control of Adrian here. Not a ton of time left, 36 seconds. And trying to step out of it is Adrian. He's in a good position. See if we can get Matt returned from Rini. Trying to grind that left arm. Trying to trip back. That's a good skip there by Rini. Going from his right to his left. Denying Hunter Adrian the opportunity to pivot out. Adrian's right leg was almost perfectly straight. Rini finally got some bend. And that's enabled him to take control again. Hunter's almost escaped. He's trying for the reversal points, and he gets free just at the buzzer. Well wrestled there by Hunter. Adrian at the end, it is his choice for the second period, and I think uh, Coach Lean is going to give him the indication to start down, which uh, will give him an opportunity to try and tie this one up. That's a key escape point at the tail end of that first period. Well wrestled by Hunter Adrian of the Bears. Get a nice job breaking out of the down position the first time. Steps up, trying to get him back to the mat. Rini comes back with the half, gets him around the waist. Uh, Hunter, uh, he's going to go back down. No, he's going to pivot. And well returned by Rini. Looks like Adrian had initially escaped. I think Rini 
felt that. He was able to reassert himself when they were both on the ground. Been an up and down season. There's the escape to tie things at two. It's been an up and down season for Columbia as a team. You know they have uh, you know a couple tough losses to the likes of Ohio State and Michigan, but you know the uh, very close loss to a good pit team that we saw here, 19 to 18. They uh, also had a very impressive 27-13 win over Princeton, but and an 18-17 win over then number 21 Lehigh. However, the uh, Lions fell last night in Cambridge 18-17. They'll take on Maryland next weekend in their senior day, final matchup before they head to EIWAs on March the 4th, which will be held in Philadelphia. We're at neutral, about 40 seconds. The uh, Riding time at two minutes plus, so potentially a factor in this one, especially in a 2-2 match. We need trying to go under Adrian this time to gain traction. The first couple of times he's gone straight at him. Yeah, he has a good shot, does Reney. Reney a year ago had a 19 win season. Might see a stalemate call here, but we are winding down. Short time in the second. No control. And it is Rini's choice. And he's going to choose the bottom. So strategically speaking, Hunter Adrian may let him go quickly and try for the, uh, the takedown to see what he offers here. Well, however, on the flip side of that, he may try and wind down some of these uh, riding time, which uh, was locked in a minute ago and, again, is problematic for Adrian in a 2-2 match. Sorry, Jake. No, I'm just saying, Rini's coming off a loss last night to Dante Frenzy of Harvard. He fell at 104. And there is the escape. Another point. He also lost a, a tight one to Kurt Phipps of Bucknell, and, and that's a two. No, not yet. The official's uh, right on top of it. It was a great shot by Adrian. Does not yet have the established control. You can see him dragging Rini back to center because you don't want to go out of bounds in this situation. But he does not yet have control in what is a 3-2 match. And still neutral. Rini's in a good position here to get the two himself. Rini swept the leg. Swept the leg with his arm. Sort of somersaulted Adrian back over just as Adrian was getting ready to take control. And there's going to be, he's going to come back across. That may be control. That may be back points. He's got him down. Uh, no, no, says the official. Adrian able to squirm out of it, but he's going to cut over his eye, and that may delay things here. Reedy with a 3-2 lead. The Columbia coaching staff not happy. If there's any cut, it's not pouring open. No, I think I mis, uh, misunderstood. I don't think it's a cut. I actually think it's just the way his hair was falling over his eyebrow. <laughs> Adrian's going to be running on short time here in a moment. Oh, he's got a shot at it. Reedy was able to turn. Adrian had an opportunity for takedown points. And I'm surprised they haven't called the takedown yet. There's no replay here, so. And there it is. He gives him, gets the two points as time is winding down. And we've got an overtime match here at 133. How about Adrian's finish there? He used his neck almost to flip Reaney down on the takedown and get those late two points, force the OT. Reaney, a seventh place finisher at the Easterns, second team All Ivy a year ago. A takedown. That's a great shot. Has him by the ankle. Can he turn around and get control? 
He does not yet have control. Gets the left arm back around. Does Hunter Adrian. Rainey's wrestling defensively here with his leg split. Adrian the aggressor in OT. He spent a lot of regulation, if you will, sort of taking it. He's got it! Hunter Adrian, the come from behind win with the takedown of Angelo Rini, who had been a top 25 wrestler. That is a solid victory for Browns. Hunter Adrian has his arm raised at 133 with a 6-4 win in overtime. And with that, folks, we've got to take a timeout. We'll be back here with 141 in just a moment. Hunter Adrian getting the Bears going with that takedown at 133. This is the Ivy League on ESPN.